Holly Jane Rowe was convicted of the rape and murder of a 17-month-old baby girl. We'll discuss her case, and I'll tell you what she told me. I'm Kelly, and this is The Woman Condemned, where you'll find information on the women on death row and those serving life. This is a discussion on the case of Molly Jane Rowe and where she is now. Please let me know in the comments if you've heard about this case before because there has been very little media attention for such an unusual case. And um, stick around to the end to get some free stuff. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps. Let's get started. Women commit around 11% of all murders in the United States, and they tend to know their victims. Around 17% kill family members, with only 7% of those killings being children, which makes what Molly's done really unusual. Molly Jane Rowe of Bells, Tennessee, pled guilty to and was convicted of the rape and murder of her boyfriend's 17-month-old daughter, Malia Murley in June of 2011. Molly and her two-year-old son had just recently moved in the home with her boyfriend, Philip Murley Jr., who went by PJ. He had weekend visitation with his daughter Malia in his home every other weekend. Her biological mother had custody. Um, an ambulance was called to the home, and Malia was taken to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. Doctors at the emergency room found blunt force trauma evidence, as well as severe vaginal bruising, bite marks to her back, hip, and legs. She died soon after arriving at the hospital. Molly had lost a child to miscarriage uh, just shortly before moving in with PJ. And she'd been involved with drugs and alcohol at this point, including the notorious bath salts. At first, she tried to blame the situation with Malia on her own toddler son, saying that he plays too rough. Um, then, then she said she dropped Malia during a tantrum, that Malia was throwing a tantrum. She dropped her on a table, and it hit her head. Um, eventually... She confessed. Molly was indicted, denied bond, and eventually pled guilty in 2013. Here's where, here is where and why things get a little scarce. She pled guilty with a statement saying that she didn't want to put her family or Malia's family through the details of what happened to cause her death. Pleading guilty meant she didn't have to publicly explain what she did or why she did it or what happened at, at all. So, um, we don't know. She was sentenced to life with the chance of possibility for parole um, after 51 years. I got a Christmas card from Molly and a letter. I wrote back to her in January and I asked her if she would answer some questions for us. I hope to hear back from her soon. It would be really nice to um, like find out why, what happened, what, what could possibly have happened. Uh, I know we all want to know that. I got this Christmas card from Molly in December. It's got the prison stamp there on the on the back. Christmas wish. Wishing you and yours a Christmas full of many joys and blessings with many wonderful memories and blessings to come in the new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Molly Jane. Dated December 2019. With it was this letter. What is in my hair? Weird. 
with it was this letter. Um, she says that it's dated December 2019, December 17th. She tells me what she does with her day. I'll tell you a little bit about what consumes most of my days. I work full time and as of late 12 hour days at the call center here doing clerical work. I also go to school full time working on my associate's degree in liberal arts studies through the Lipscomb University Life Program. I just finished the fall semester. When I'm not working or doing my studies, I crochet in my spare time. I really enjoy it. I pretty much taught myself after I came to prison. I love making gifts for my family and friends, especially for my 10-year-old son. In a couple of my business classes, my finals were on me running my own company from here through Etsy or something like that. I've just not pushed it too much because I don't really have anyone to help me run it out there. Um, that's pretty much it. She talks about her family and she doesn't ask them for anything. She wants to be self-sufficient and that's pretty much it. Thank you for believing in me and that's it. I promise not to take so long to write back. So maybe we'll find something out. I really hope so. I'd really like to know what what happened there. That's it for Molly Jane Rowe. There's really not that much about her online. Um, I did look at the police reports, which were not easy to get. Uh, Bells, Tennessee is about three hours from me. And I would go there if I thought there was enough interest. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing where this stuff happened at. Or um, whatever I can find out in Bells, Tennessee, I'll check it out. As a thank you for watching, I'd love to send you one of these cool door hanger, true crime door hangers. Um, just like and subscribe and send me your address. And thanks a lot for watching.